Excuse me. Oh, man. This is not easy. Excuse me. Oh, boy. So, hey, hi. Brr, brr, brr. Let me start over. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? I um, oh boy, it's almost day four of being very, very, very sick. Um, let's see. I think it was like Wednesday. I started getting super sick, and then Thursday. Well, a lot of you guys already know this if you follow me on Snapchat. But Thursday, I um massively just just throwing up everywhere and then just horribleness the days after that and it hasn't gone away yet so just living with it I don't know why I'm sleeping like 20 hours a day and yet I'm still so tired I don't know why it's pretty terrible but uh Oh boy, I'm late. I'm like the latest I've ever been to a live stream. That's not good. I mean, I was I was debating on whether or not to even do one. I'm going to keep this one really short. I think that's what's for the best, really, because I don't have a ton of energy. But I still really would like to, uh, to do this live stream. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so funny. <laughs> oh, hey. People are here. Resolution Blue. Hey, what's up? Debbie. Oh, thank you. I hope I feel better soon, too. I, I've i got to be on the up and up. I, I Eventually. I mean, it's been four days. I'm hoping. I've never really been sick that long. I usually I'm done within like a couple days max. Even if I have to throw up. I thought like with throwing up, you just you're once and done and you feel great after that. But I don't know. Stomach bugs are the worst. I don't even know what I got. I have no clue what it is that I even have or why I'm sick, but it's pretty bad. Uh, oh, wow, a lot of people here. I was wondering if you guys would even show up. I mean, I'm so late and everything. <laughs> uh, boy. Uh, uh, let's see. My sister got the same thing, Joy. Joy got the same thing I did on the same day that I got it. I, was, my, I called my mom and I was telling her about it. And she was like, what? Joy got the exact same thing you did. So Joy and I are texting each other. Kind of keeping each other updated on how awful our lives are right now. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, how was your guys this week? I guess, it, wow. I'm just, I'm so off with my time zone. I'm forgetting what day is it? It's like a Saturday. That makes sense because I'm doing the Saturday night stream. <laughs> Come on, Josh. I'm sorry. I'm going to be a little bit not there. Um, there are times when you can be 100%. This is not one of those times. <laughs> this is the opposite of that. Like, if I ever legitimately get to a level of fame where I'm on a talk show one day and they ask me, so, out of all the times you've recorded, which time were you the least prepared and least ready to record? I'm going to say today, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there are times where I've been really tired, that's one thing, this is different, like I feel like I'm about to throw up, and I also feel like I need to go lay down and go to bed for the next three years, and I also feel like a combination of strange emotions, I feel a little bit like I'm pregnant, and you're like, well hey Josh, how do you know, you, how, do you, how can you know when you're pregnant, you know, you're a dude. Well, I've heard that you get cravings for stuff, and I'm getting intense cravings right now, for example, for Skittles. I don't know why. It was it was Starbursts all day yesterday, and now it's Skittles, which is so random. That's usually not something I crave. Anyway, you guys are you guys are commenting. Oh boy. Let's see. Someone get Josh a bucket. Oh, I have one. It's oh, it's not a bucket, it's a trash can. I got it here just in case cuz I, I think I'm about to if I puke on camera, that's probably not gonna be a that's probably not gonna be a thing that we wanna save. So this might be the first live stream I actually end up deleting. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, but yes, some of you guys are asking. I am indeed sick. I'm pretty, uh, pretty darn sick. I don't remember the last time I've been this sick. Excuse me, I just burped. Um, let's see. Um, weird. You know, because I don't know why. I don't know if this is normal for the amount of, like, the type of sickness I have. But I've been getting really, really hungry. Like, I'll get super huge cravings. And then when I actually start eating, I can only have, like, two bites before my body's like, nope, you're actually really full right now. And I'm going to throw up now. Then I throw up. It's really weird. So, I mean, let's see. Ooh, from an actual mom commenting. From someone who's gone through morning sickness twice, crackers and ginger ale. Ginger tea. I read that as ginger ale. My eyes aren't what they used to be. <laughs> and by used to be, I mean a few days ago when I wasn't sick. <laughs> crackers. I have Triscuits. Does that count? I need to get Triscuits. It's a good idea. Naomi says, maybe you should just rest today and eat. I mean, I did. I rested... I slept, until, I slept until 2 p.m., and then I got up for a few hours, and then went back to bed until 8 p.m., which makes no sense how my body's able to do that, and I'm still so tired. Um, ginger tea, I should totally get some of that, but that requires me going to the store, and that sounds like so much energy, going to the store. I don't know. Anyway. Let's see. I've been having the weirdest dreams. Like, um, last night, um, I had a dream that I was just chilling on my couch here, right here. It's a weird dream. It's just like, I don't normally have dreams where I'm just chilling on the couch, but here, I was here on this couch in my dream last night. And then all of a sudden, I hear a knock at the door. And I'm just sitting here, and I'm like, come in. And... All of BTS walks in, all of them, all the members. BTS just walks in, and I'm like, oh, hi, BTS, how's it going? Like, that's a normal thing for BTS to walk into your living room. And they're all like, hey, man, I heard you're sick, what's up? We just wanted to come and wish you well. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool of you, BTS, thank you. And I keep addressing them all as BTS. <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird dream. So I'm just chilling here, and I'm like, well, hey, make yourself less, you know, I don't, I don't know, I'm trying to welcome them into my home, I'm like, you know, just chill out, hey, how's it going, and a rat monster sits down right next to me, he's really close to me, like, a little bit, like, uncomfortably close, and I'm like, if this wasn't rat monster, I would be really uncomfortable right now, but it's okay, because it's rat monster, I was like, he's sitting close to me like he knows me, and I was like, well, he could have seen my reactions on YouTube, I've done a couple just with him, and I said some really nice things, so maybe... Maybe he, uh, maybe he really appreciated that. And then I thought, well, wait a minute. I'm really, I'm, I'm craving Gatorade right now. I should go get some Gatorade, but I don't want to just get Gatorade for myself. I want to get Gatorade for everyone. So I was like, hey guys, does any, do any of you guys want Gatorade? And everyone was like, yeah, I want some Gatorade. Do you want some Gatorade? And Suka was like, yeah, I want some Gatorade. And then Suka asked the other guy, just, it was hilarious. And everyone wanted Gatorade. So I was like, oh man, okay. Well, you guys stay here. I'm going to go get us some Gatorade now. So I went up into the kitchen, and I started getting cups. And I realized, oh, no, I have enough Gatorade for everyone, but I don't have enough cups for everyone. And I was thinking, oh, man, I've got only enough cups for, like, me and then maybe the three wrappers. And that's, like, that's it. I don't have enough for everyone. And I started getting really, like, worried and then I realized, it's okay, they're like really close, they can share, they probably share all the time. And I was like, oh yeah, they can probably share, that's good. BTS can share. And then I just got really relaxed and I was like, it's all gonna be okay. BTS will share the Gatorade. And then I woke up and I thought, what a strange dream to have. <laughs> I don't know. Be why do I need cups for Gatorade, Taylor Farmer asks? Well, because I only have these huge things here. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're hilarious, but I only had two big ones. I already drank the yellow one, and now I'm drinking the blue one. I always keep two, one blue and one yellow. 
because Akbar, when he comes over, he, he really starts craving Gatorade, the blue kind. So I always get a blue and a yellow. <laughs> and it's a really huge Gatorade. Oh man. That's kind of crazy. It's a weird situation. Life is funny that way. You just have crazy. Some things in real life are just crazier than what you'd come up with in a dream. I don't know. Fact has always been stranger than fiction. Have you ever seen something crazy happen or like been next to someone you don't know when something crazy happens? <laughs> And then you somehow are like friends with that person now that you've both witnessed that crazy thing happening. Oh, I, I saw that happen. It was pretty crazy. I was just walking down the street and just with a crowd of people. And there was this, uh, this homeless guy. And he was like really, really upset at this other homeless guy. And then they started like fighting each other. And I was like, whoa, that's a thing. And they were like trying to like, I don't know, they were doing something. And then all of a sudden they started dancing like it was just part of an act. I, I don't know. And there was this chick next to me and I was like, did, did you see this? She was like, yeah. And I was like, that's crazy. Like, hey, I'm Josh. It was just like we became friends just because we both witnessed something crazy. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird how humanity works. I don't, I don't pretend to understand it. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm loopy right now. Normally, I'm like reading the comments more, but it's an effort to even like be conscious right now. Oh, man. Daniela, yesterday I dreamt I worked for the CIA and my first mission was to seduce Tree Dragon in a hotel in Italy. Dang it, that's a mission I want. Are you kidding me? I'd seduce the crap out of G-Dragon. I know exactly how I'd do it, too. I'd go in as CL. What? Sky Dragon. I know what's up. I know how that works. Don't tell me they're just friends. You can't be just friends and have that type of chemistry in live performances. I don't make the rules. You guys pretend that I do, but I'm just as scared as you guys. I don't know. Wow, I'm out of it. You know you're out of it when... You reach for your phone to call your phone because you don't know where your phone is. That only happened twice today. <laughs> Literally, I was like, where is my phone? Oh, I can just call my phone. Oh, this is my phone. I'm a very sad person right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> Tell more stories. I don't know if you guys can handle more stories. Okay, the night I got sick, I woke up at midnight. It was Wednesday night going into Thursday at midnight. I got up at midnight and I was like, it's that moment where you wake up and you're like, oh man, I'm about to puke. This is, I don't have time for this. I gotta go up to get up to school tomorrow morning. Like I, this is not what I want right now. <laughs> so I just run over, trash can, just like let loose. So this thing is full. And I'm like, all right, this is annoying. Now I need to find something else. But eventually I go back to bed. Wake up a half an hour later, I have to go puke again. And I go puke in the bathtub. Because it was just like the large, wide open space that I'm like, I can always clean it out later. I know, it's an odd place to throw up. <laughs> I don't know, it's just it seemed like an easy thing. You just run the water and then forget about it. And hopefully it's clean by the time you come back. I'm sorry, this is... This is getting graphic. I don't even think you guys want to hear this. I don't, I don't. I wouldn't want to hear this. I mean, who wants to hear people throwing up? That seems like the most annoying thing in the whole world. And gross thing. So here's another way I puked up. Eventually, I was like, all right, I'm going to go to bed, and I'm going to try to stay bed this time. And hopefully that's the last time I puke. Because I don't normally puke more than like three times. I mean, usually just once. Once and done. But... I puked three times, and so I thought, that has to be it. So, eventually I went back to bed thinking, all right, that's got to be it. I'm feeling a little better. And I wake up at like 3 a.m., and I already feel like I'm sleeping. And I wake up, and I'm like, I'm about to puke. But I'm trying to keep it from like actually do it. So, 
I'm like freaking out. I basically run over to the bathroom, right? And I um just barely make it to my sink. So eventually there's puke in my trash can, in my whatever you call it, in my, I, I don't even know. It's everywhere. I, it's one of those things. It's hard to even think about. I took a, um, I took a bath today actually, because from sleeping for so long, you get, um, you get really sore. I don't know if you knew that, but when you're in bed for too long, you get really sore. So anyway, I thought, you know what? Why don't I just try to take a bath? Not a big deal. Just go take a bath. And that bath ended up being one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my entire life. By far. How, you may ask? Good question. So there I am, taking a bath. That, that was the easy part, just getting in water and then just doing nothing. And then I fell asleep. And then I got up about an hour later and I was like, oh, I'm in a bath. I guess that's okay, and I just sort of like chill out there. And then I like get snaps from people, so I'm like reading and watching snaps, and I'm like, well, I can't snap anyone back because I'm in a bathtub right now. <laughs> so I basically am just there chilling out. And then I was thinking, all right, well, what now? I was like, well, I guess I got to get up now. And I was thinking, all right, let's do that. And, I, and then I try to do it. And I realized that I can't, like, it's not that I can't, it's just like, there's so much, it takes so much effort to even do that. And I was like, boy, this is going to be harder than I thought. And I was like, all right, well, let me just try. So I like, I try to like get up and I'm like, nope. <laughs> well, I'm in this situation now. What do I do? And I'm thinking about it, like thinking all this ways, all the ways I can like possibly get out of this bathtub. And I'm thinking, boy, this is tough. And it just gets more and more tough. And the longer that I'm there, the more I realize that I might be stuck here for, for a long time. And I was thinking, all right, all right. I think I'm just, I'm getting too hot from the water and everything. And I just need to take a shower. And then I, that'll give me enough energy to like, to do the rest of my day. And I'm like, all right, here we go. I can do this. I can do this. And so I'm like, ah, and I try to get up and I go back down and I fall back in. I'm like, all right, this, this is getting crazy. Why is it so tough? And I'm thinking, you are Joshua Carter Binder. You come from a long lineage of self-made people and hardworking men and women. You will not fall off yourself for this bathtub. You will overcome. I'm like, ah, and I get up and I get on one knee and I'm able to pull up the bathtub thingy, the little like plug, right? So eventually all the water's draining and I realize that's really where the rubber meets the road. I mean, that's, that's all in at that point because when the bathtub water's draining, your warm cocoon is going away. Soon you're just going to be there and you're going to be completely cold and you're going to need like instant nourishment from some source of warmth <laughs> so i'm like all right this is now or this is never i need to figure this out so my warm cocoon is going away and i start realizing that i need to make a move so i like get up on both knees ah! then i get up and grab another one and i start pulling up and i'm like i could do this and i just sort of like drag over the curtain so now there's a curtain there and I pull over the water. And it's just like spraying down water. And I'm like, ah. And I can only imagine what my neighbors are thinking at this point. They hear the water like draining and coming on. And me yelling like a Spartan. And I'm just like, I can do this. And then I barely get up. Barely get up. And I'm on, I'm on both feet. And the water has already drained. And then I realize, uh-oh. Uh oh, my head doesn't feel good right now. In fact, I can't see anything out of my right eye and everything is going dark. And that's when I realized that
that I was blacking out. I, I don't know why. I got up very slowly. <laughs> but I think it has something to do with the fact I've been puking for the past four days. So I got up and I start realizing that I'm falling at this point. I'm completely falling. And I'm just like, Bruh! and I'm in slow motion. Then other Josh comes out and he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I, I think I'm falling. He was like, well, no, no crap, you're falling. What are you going to do about it? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm really tired. And he slaps me. I'm like, ah, bitch. He's like, you need to figure out what you're going to do about this. And I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, well, think, what do you know? And I was like, I know I need to stop myself from falling. He's like, good. How are you going to do that? And I was like, I'm going to grab the wall. And he slaps me again. I'm like, bitch. I was like, no, Josh, the coefficient of static friction is way too small. You're going to fall. And I was like, he's like, you need to think. Past the veil to the curtain. Think past the veil. And I was like, what does that mean? So I'm still falling at this point. This whole time this is happening, I'm just falling, having an inner monologue with other Josh. And he's telling me, look past the curtain through the veil. And I don't know what that means. And I'm thinking, there's got to be a reason he told me that. And I'm thinking, oh, it's a curtain. He's telling me to grab the curtain. So I grab the curtain at the last moment. And the shower curtain rings are popping off. Like, tch, 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 all the way down. I'm like, ah! And I'm like slowing down, but I'm still popping off the shower curtain rings until it goes to the very last ring. And then I stop and I realize that I'm like three inches from hitting the ground and I'm just there. And I'm like, all I can think is I'm really glad I went with Target instead of Walmart. Just a little better quality. And then the last one breaks because when I just hit the ground and I'm like, ah, bitch. Oh, and then I was able to get up and finished the rest of my uh, shower. And then I went on with the rest of my day. But yeah, that's how my, uh, that's how my shower went today. It was very dramatic. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. Whew. Yeah, thank you, Target. <laughs> I don't think Walmart's quality could have held up for that. I would have been like, blap, pretty cray. So that's how my day went. But then I went but I went back to bed for another eight hours and woke up for this. Someone says white version of Morgan Freeman. For real, you could be a voice actor. Morgan Freeman. The thing about Morgan Freeman is he can talk about anything and make it sound interesting and just like drone on about it. Like like this carpet, for example. Oh carpet. How you go from wall to wall. I stain you sometimes, but that's all right. <laughs> Every time he explains something, he gets another freckle. That's how he got all his freckles, because he's really good at explaining stuff. Excuse me. This is all I can really consume right now. I only had one piece of toast today, but when I ate the piece of toast, I realized that I needed to uh, throw up. So I haven't been eating much for the past three or four days. Um, but yeah, Resolution Blue, Josh, have you seen a doctor? Hmm, you mean in general or just like for this situation? No, I haven't seen a doctor for what I have now. I don't know what it is I have now. I don't know what I would tell them. But yeah. Darlene says, yo, how are you okay right now? Easy answer. I'm not. What? I'm not. <laughs> you just gotta fake it until you make it. Let's see. <laughs> Resolution blue, try yogurt and string cheese. Excuse me, I burped. Because I'm drinking a lot of Gatorade. <laughs> it is a very big bottle. <laughs> I have string cheese, but that's all the way over there. And I want yogurt, but that's... I don't have yogurt, so... So no yogurt. Let's see. Sapphire goes, Yo, maybe you have a stomach virus, which, once again, you need to go to a doctor. I don't feel like I... I, I don't know. I don't feel like they would tell me anything I don't already know. They might, like, take my vitals, ask me some questions, and then be like, yep, you have a stomach virus. That's 94.85. And I'll be like, but, but what? 
<laughs> I feel like that's what's gonna happen. I don't know. Son Lee says, yo, please react to Josh Binder's Saturday Night Live. You might like it. <laughs> what, like right now? <laughs> react to my own live streams? That'd be funny. Julia Binder says, he called us, but he continues with his life still. I don't get it. Taylor Farmer, just go see the damn doctor. I guess no <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go <laughs> I don't wanna they're not gonna help at all they're gonna tell me what I already know and then I'm gonna come back here and and go back to bed <laughs> Agustina is healthcare in US that way well what's healthcare in your country then I can tell you if it's different Alexa says, yo, Josh, how often do you go to the grocery store? About once every other week. And I get a lot of stuff for like two weeks worth. <laughs> Typical says, yo, you need to sleep, Josh. OMG. <laughs> that is funny. Can you guys like come closer to me real quick? I just, I need you to do me a solid and like come closer. Cause I don't wanna like, I don't wanna be as up as I need to be. I wanna be like further down. Oh, just need you guys to come closer. This is gonna help me out. It's just left less effort for me. <laughs> K-pop mom says, yo, mashed potatoes that helps well I was eating mashed potatoes Wednesday night and then I got really sick and then I passed out in my bed and I realized I forgot to cover them up and now I have mashed potatoes that are four days old just over in the kitchen open so that's why I haven't gone to my kitchen yet because that's an issue I'm just trying to avoid right now I know I'm eventually gonna have to deal with that issue but for now I like to just ignore it and keep it in the kitchen Yep, no more potato. I love how people are discussing American healthcare right now. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh man. KCON, New York. Oh boy, people are talking about KCON again. What time is it? How long have I been doing this? I think I've been doing this for like almost 30 minutes I think that's a good amount of time right I think I'm gonna I think I should call it quits at this point I don't know I'm just reading things on my whiteboard over there I know that you guys probably won't be able to see it if I like point you over but I really like whiteboards I keep whiteboards all throughout my apartment it's good for uh, creative Notation, documentation. <laughs> if this is what you're like when you're sick, I would love to get drunk with you. Well, Miss Hernandez, this is what I'm like when I'm sick. <laughs> so, that's a thing. Oh, everyone's saying goodbye. Why? Oh, I probably insinuated a couple minutes ago that I was about to leave. I've already forgotten that I was about to leave. You, you don't even have to remind me. You can just let me drone on because clearly I'm going to forget about these things. Michelle says, what about blackboards? Well, I like whiteboards the most because you get all the different colors. First time watching your live stream, subscribed yesterday, lol. Well, thank you. Michaela? That's tough. 
That's a tough thing to pronounce for me. It was barely a minute ago? Oh. See, I thought it was like a few minutes ago, but you guys are telling me it was actually just a minute ago. So what that tells me is that my perception of time is more exponential than linear, which is not reality. What? <laughs> Math. <laughs> Alexis says, Josh, dot, dot, dot. How's job interview? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Uh, it was good. I can't tell you who it was with because of uh, security reasons. I mean, if I get the job, I can probably tell you guys what company it is, but I'm not allowed to talk about it right now. But it did go really well. It did go well. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Oh, uh, boy. You know... Oh, I'm still live streaming. Here we go. Lassie. Yo, is he high? <laughs> no. No, I'm not. I'm not. That sounds better, though, than what I am right now. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I just, uh... I'm not 100% because I've been really sick and um, yeah, really sick. The comments, I read the comments, the Luhan, not Lu, who's his other song? <laughs> that good, good, yes. I was so looking forward to that, the Luhan good, good comments because cause I was thinking, <laughs> I remember after Boy in Love by BTS and I got like all those awesome death threats and then people were telling me, oh, armies aren't even, they can't hold a candle to XOLs. You got me all excited. I'm like, yo, XOLs are even worse. Ooh, this is going to be good. And I'm reading the comments and they weren't, they weren't good death threats. There wasn't, they weren't even death threats technically. They were like some, I don't know. They were like secondhand like insinuations and I was like ah come on and I got really disappointed and sad I don't know if you saw my tweet I don't know like when I when I first when I first saw that comment I was like "Ooh, this is it this is gonna be a good one and if someone knocks on my door it's probably maintenance or something and I'm like go away I've been pooping out my, and pooping and vomiting for like four days straight and I need this <laughs> and I was like, alright, here we go. Alright, it's all caps, that's a good start. Alright, it's bullet pointed and way too long, here we go. Uh, oh. Aww. And I got really sad. And you know, I feel like it's that, it's kind of that same way in life in general. You know, when you get your expectations up and they're not met, that's when you get disappointed. And I honestly feel like, I honestly feel like, I need to not get my expectations up so much. You know, like I just need to keep things low, more realistic. Because if you don't, if you don't keep your expectations up, you won't get as disappointed. I don't know. <laughs> but it's Luhan, so technically not XO. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, because he left. But. I bet he didn't make a ton of fans. I think most of his fans are fans of him back when he was in XO. It's not like he suddenly got fans after he left. It's probably mostly XO fans that continued to like him afterwards. I could be wrong. I don't know. Kate says, yo, you don't really look well. It's good, though, that you can still smile even though you're feeling sick, but you should... You should be taking a rest. That's a good point. You should probably go to bed soon. I'll go to bed in the next couple minutes. 
I'm an army and I was XOL, but when things with SM happened, well, I'm out. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. You're funny. Yes, I do realize that I've just been very quiet for the past five minutes reading these comments. <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys proofread? <laughs> this is hilarious. Josh, we finna gonna crunk off the orange juice and string cheese. It sounds Jamaican. We finna gonna crunk off the orange juice, man. <laughs> oh. Okay. Joanne says, yo, drink honey with tea. I have honey, but I don't have tea. So can I just drink honey? Because that sounds pretty dope. <laughs> well, that's that. What time is it? Okay, that works. <sighs> you know, I did promise you guys an apartment tour. I know last week I did anyway. I said, last week I said, next week I'll give you guys an apartment tour. I did say I would. And this is probably like the worst possible time to do it by far it's tough for me to even get up but i'm gonna still try to give you guys an apartment tour <laughs> so i'm just gonna grab this webcam take it off of my laptop oh that came off pretty easily and so now i'm just gonna like from where i'm sitting i'm gonna show you guys <laughs> i don't know 30 percent of my apartment so here we have an empty bag of potato chips we have something to hold what does that hold resumes for like stuff like that um we've got you guys here that's pretty cool i've got gatorade uh, a microphone oh we're going all the way around we got lighting sources here and a camera for recording um i i guess it keeps going around we've got a trash can here just in case i throw up which is important because you don't want that on the carpet. And then I guess we have the whiteboard behind here and some artwork I got from a friend in Korea. And uh, uh, there we go. And that's it. That's all of it. I mean, that's all that I'm going to do today because I'm probably just going to lay down here and then go to bed. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have a good rest of your evening or afternoon or morning. I don't know what time it is for you guys, but have a good one. Thank you for tuning in to this, um, well, what do you call it? Live stream. <laughs> that took too long. And, um, <laughs> these comments, man, you guys, relentless. I, um, I will see you guys hopefully, hopefully, why do I say it like that? Hopefully, hopefully, it's hopefully, come on, Josh. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next Saturday, um, because that is when live streams happen. <laughs> I can't do this. All right. See you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and click this off now. Ah. <sighs>